The city is in the middle of executing a 10-year transportation master plan called Sedona in Motion, or SIM. We'd like to give you an update on where we are three years into this plan and what projects are in the works. You've probably already driven through the completed Uptown Roadway Improvements Project with the roundabouts, two lanes out of the canyon, decorative median, and Ownby Way connector road. This project reduced southbound congestion by 80%. The city is now studying northbound delays and collecting data, modeling, and doing analysis to identify strategies that will help alleviate northbound congestion. Additionally, the city completed the Sunset Park shared use path and recently extended it onto Sunset Drive over the Carroll Canyon Wash. The following projects are in the works. There are two shared use paths currently under construction. The soon to be completed one mile stretch along Thunder Mountain and Sandboard and the half mile stretch on Dry Creek Road between Tooth Pence Trail and Gurdner Trail. The Shelby Drive Roadway Improvements Project, which among other things will repave a portion of Shelby Road, will also include a shared use path on the north side of the roadway. Other shared use paths in the design phase include Soldiers Pass from Posse Grounds to the Soldiers Pass Trailhead, a path along Chapel Road, and a path connecting between Navodi and White Bear next to the library. The goal will be to create a network of biking and walking paths throughout Sedona for safe travel and non-vehicular options. Additionally, the city is working closely with ADOT to paint green bike lanes in the transition areas along 89A. We hope to start on this during the summer. Next, the Forest Road Extension Project is nearing final design as property details and alignment are completed. This project will provide an alternative way for uptown residents to access 89A without having to go through the roundabouts. It will feature a shared use path and construction is expected to begin in the fall of this year. Speaking of Forest Road, the city purchased land and is in the middle of a design for the Forest Road parking garage. Construction is expected to begin in mid-2022. The city has also been working with ADOT to install a travel time sign on I-17 near the turnoff for 260 to inform drivers if coming through 260 or 179 is faster. Transit is a big project with a lot of moving parts that will need to be implemented over several years. So far, we've hired a transit manager and bought a transit hub location, seen here. We hope that by next spring, we're able to launch a microtransit system or an on-demand rideshare program and a trailhead shuttle system. Next, we're getting close to a final design on the pedestrian crossing at Oak Creek, which features a shared use path under the bridge on 179 over Oak Creek. This path will reduce the amount of pedestrian and vehicle conflicts currently in that area. Last, the city is pursuing designs on alternative exits out of the Talakapaki area, from Portal Road to Ranger Road, and also an exit out the back of Los Abrigados, so that those headed to West Sedona and Uptown can take a more direct route than they do now. As you can see, the city has many SIM projects in the works, with the hope that all of these strategies combined improves our traffic problem here in Sedona. For more information on project status, Look for our quarterly SIM updates with City Council or head over to www.sedonaaz.gov/sim.